What's up, everyone? It's me, Shoshone, and today we'll go back to another video. And today we are going to be playing something very, very interesting that I don't think I've actually decided on wanting to play, actually. This one is called After Hours. <clears throat> After Hours. Now, if you don't know what the heck this game is, well, I will happily tell you this. So, this is basically a DD Sim game where you can actually interact or maybe have an interest with the certain characters from the infamous game that people knew, which is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, which it features Sundrop and Moondrop. Yes, it's a dating sim between Sundrop and Moondrop that you can actually do this with either one of them. So that is interesting. So, I've actually heard of this game from some small YouTubers who have played it. And I do have to say, the art style actually looks really cute and all, but I don't think I've ever seen the game. So, I wanted to save my, my enjoyment whenever I play the game, and here it is. So, be prepared on some stuff here. Hopefully, there's not anything too weird going on here, like... <laughs> Oh god, the fr the freaking thermoset is up again, sorry. Anyway, so without further ado, let's us see what After Hours has to store for us for today. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Time to date some animatronics right there. Alright, what is my name? Ooh, I like that the text actually moves in this. That's cool. Alright, so my name is Cyril Wolf. It is a beautiful name. Cherished from the gods. Alright, so yes. Is that correct? Yes, it is definitely is correct. Again, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. It does this every time, and I cannot get it to shut up. All right, anyways, let's go. I'm just going to pretend it's not there, so, uh, yeah. All right, hello. Sarah Wolf? Oh. <gasps> oh, no. It's Vanessa. Vanessa? What the heck? Huh? Sarah Wolf, wake up. No sleeping on the job. I guess. Oh, look at this! It's Vanessa! Hello, Vanessa! How you doing there, girl? Oh my gosh, you look so good! <laughs> wow, okay. I, I Yeah, I told you the art cell is really cute in this. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, wait. We're actually buds with Vanessa? What the heck? Lowering my arm, I saw a small little box in front of me. And my phone was resting. Its shape is probably imprinted onto my face right now. <laughs> Oh, so I was sleeping on a job, I see. Uh, yes, I can tell. We're gonna be a, a lazy person that's trying to get the job done, aren't we? Ugh, good lord, Sir Wolf. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I don't know what I... <clears throat> Ugh, good lord, Sir Wolf. This... When was... When was the last time you slept? Uh... Oh, this is a major event right there. Okay, so I hear this is going to be a lot of save points and everything. So, let's just keep this... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Vanessa sighs. Whatever. No one's here but us, anyway. I'll keep quiet if you do your job, alright? Yeah, sure. Alright, get to it. Vanessa walks up as I stand up and stretch. Feeling my jolts po joints pop when I raise my arms above my head. Deciding not to waste any more time, I picked up my toolbox and phone before heading through the massive doors leading to the daycare. Oh no, we're going to the daycare, people! That is scary! Why are we going there? Uh-oh. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is... This is already interesting, okay. The daycares as bright lights in rainbow colors are practically blinding compared to the rest of the pizza plex. Or maybe I just haven't fully woken up yet. Time to get this over with. I open up a panel behind a desk and cringe at the mess of wires in the wall. Oh my god, that's a bunch- oh, I hate that! Untangling wires is the worst. As much as I wish I could, I can't rush through this. I'll have to deal with each to each generator, one at a time. Whatever. If it means I get to go to sleep a little sooner, I'll do it. Alright. Ooh, wait, what's this? Click at the end of each cable in the correct order to proceed. <gasps> wait, this is a mini game? Oh, this is a mini game, people. Alright, so... 
What do I do? Alright, so... Oh, I, I'm not sure as to what I needed to do in the segment right there. Oh! Uh, okay, I just did that. Uh, uh... Oh, wait, oh, I think I'm supposed to find the cord? Oh, find the cord. And then... Ew, I see what's going on. Ew, I see what's happening here. We're finding cords. I see, okay. Oh, okay, okay, that's what you gotta do. Okay, this is actually kind of confusing a little bit, but I think I can manage. Okay, I did it. Well, um, alright. That was something. Standing back up. Standing back up, I stretch again, palms on my back, as I let out a tired sigh. <laughs> <laughs> that is, until I hear a faint sound of what I think are gears and other mechanical bits turning, followed by something landing in the ball pit near the back. <gasps> oh no! Is that who I think it is? I'm pretty sure it's just the daycare attendant. After all, they should be the only other thing in here, and the small stage leading into uh, their room is tentacly above the ball pit. Not that I know a lot about them, the staff hasn't said much. And since I'm still new here, I haven't even met them yet. Nor have I met the other animatronics like the Glamrocks or DJ. Oh, the, okay, wait. Wait, who is he talking to? The robot himself or something? Most of the robots I've gotten in have gotten acquainted with has been the staff bots all over the building. Oh god, the staff bots. Those are annoying as hell. I start including freaking Daniel. I Nobody likes Daniel. He's stupid. He's If you don't know who Daniel is, Daniel is basically one of the staff bots who he is the only member that basically gets me in trouble most of the time and I hate him. I start walking into the Paul pit, scanning it for signs, scanning it for signs of movement as I stand on the edge. That is until... <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh! He's here! Whoa, that's a jump scare right there! <laughs> oh, and there he is! It's Mr. Sun himself! Look at him! He's so cute! Look at him! <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna try to do my best sun drop uh, impression right there, so be, par be prepared for this. Uh hey there, friend! I don't remember seeing you around! Are you new here? Something or someone jumped up in front of me, and I'm suddenly lift off the ground. Oh, he's picking me up? What the heck? Before I could even answer, I notice his eyes turn a light blue color, scanning me. Finally, the freaking firmament set shut off for now. God, you're going to be hearing a lot of noise in the background, so again, I'm sorry. I st I'm stunned into silence, staring at the robot in front of me. As he steps out the ball pit, holding me with underneath from underneath my my arms, as if I weigh nothing. Uh, okay. Well, we're not gonna be so mean with them. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so fun! It's not every day I see a new member of staff here. Gets pretty empty when the kids are all go, go home, you know. I'll definitely have to get used to how energetic this guy seems. He's an energetic boy. Everyone loves the sun. He finally steps in and sets me down, making sure I'm able to stand on both feet before letting go. Thanks, and uh, yeah, I'm new here. Just finishing up my first week, actually. Oh, and now how's that been? Good, I hope. Uh, yeah, it's gone pretty smoothly so far. I start walking back to the desk, but the tall robot decides to follow me. Oh no, he's following me. By the way, could you tell me you prefer name? My name is Sun, but it will call me with all sorts of nicknames. Like Sunny, Sunray, Sundu, some of the kids even call me Sundrop. Like the candy. Oh, so he's just named Sun. Oh uh, yeah, because I get confused because I always call him Sundrop. So, you know what? I'm going to call you Sundrop. Or Sun, if that's okay. Oh, not gonna lie, I thought your name was Sundrop until now. 
Yeah, that's what I said. Like, I kept calling him Sundrop, but I guess he's just Sun. Oh, that's fine. A lot of people do that. And the kid in the name kind of stuck over time, which is fine by me. Cool. Uh, my preferred name is Sarah Wolf, by the way. Yes, Sarah Wolf. Pleased to meet you. Well, it's great to meet you, Sarah Wolf. I can't help but smile a bit. But duty calls. So I make my way to one of the one of the computers on the desk. I can faintly see his face reflected on the screen as he watches what I'm doing. What you need the light off for? <gasps> oh no, not the light. You know what that means if he's gonna if you're gonna turn off the light, then something bad happens. I need to test all the generators in here to make sure they're working. Whoever messes with them last time left it left them a mess. So I have to do it one at a time. Uh, Considering how uh, worded a wordy he's been so far, such a short answer tells me something's up. Then again, I just met the guy. I couldn't be over analyzing. Uh, uh save again. Uh, something wrong? Uh, something wrong? No! I just noticed how tired you look, that's all. I'll be right back. I gotta get something for ya. What? Why? Just something to help carry you through the night. Judging by how many wires and generators you have to deal with, I have a feeling you might be here for a while. Fair enough. Sun is a sun that smiles before walking up somewhere. I put in the con d d d d d d d command. I put in the command to turn off the power in the daycare. Uh oh. Oh no, it's night. <gasps> Scare we, my gosh! The music once uh, once playing from the speakers on the ceiling comes to the halt. Silence blanketing over the massive daycare as the computer screens became <clears throat> become only my only light source removing my flashlight from my belt i turn it on as i start making my way towards the place of play structures since that's where the generators are located for some reason it's airily quiet and i tried finding the the structure the structure in the first the first generator, the lack of true ambience forces my for footsteps to echo. The glowing red, red, uh, the glowing red light of one of the generators entered my sight, so I continue on. Somewhere above me, I hear gears turning. Oh no! Uh, yeah, that's that's the sign right there. You need to leave right now. I sign. I shine my flashlight towards the ceiling, only to see nothing there. Uh, sun? Sun? I flinched at the noise, frantically shining my light to see what's there. That didn't sound like sun. Sun, are you there? <gasps> ah! Oh, but there's the other boy right there! Hello! What's up? Are you doing? <laughs> I dropped my flashlight. I'm sitting on the ground after stumbling back from being startled. In front of me is a robot I've seen on the moon drop posters, giggling hysterically. He seems proud of himself. I sigh, pick up my flashlight, and get back up to continue what was uh, what I was doing. Well, if I wasn't awake before, I definitely am now. He suddenly stops laughing after I say that. He makes a noise that sounds like he's clearing his throat before he starts to follow me. Ah, sorry for the scare. I couldn't help myself. Sure. I take the first path into the play structure, I see, hoping to find the first generator sooner rather than later. You're going the wrong way. Oh, what do you mean I'm going the wrong way? What are you going? What do you mean, man? Am I? I turn around, and he has his hands crossed as he leans against the sculpture structure. Yep, I could lead you to the generator, if that would make you feel better. I think about it for a second. If this guy's anything but Sun, 
If this guy's anything like Sun, hopefully he actually means what he says. Fine. I crawled back out of the south of the structure, and he starts leading me to a different path. He clearly knows his way around, since we find the generator rather easily. There you go. Yeah, I've always hated this section right there, because if you all remembered, I remembered playing this little generator section a long time, so I really hated it, because I never find out as to where the generators are. Yeah, those were bad times, to be honest. He sits beside me as I go to turn it on, his glowing eye, red eyes watching me as I do my job. Maybe it's just me, but don't you think those red eyes are kind of intimidating for a daycare attendant? Yes, I've been told that before. It was a bug that made them look like this. But that's been resolved. The red eyes stuck, but they're not hurting anyone. Fair enough, the red does look kind of cool with the blue and the white. Ah, why, thank you. I rolled my eyes, a faint smile on my face. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so charming. Look at him. I don't know who's who's even more adorable, Sun or Moondrop. I can't really tell. Now that I think about it, I never told you my name, did I? I already know. It's Sarah Wolf. Oh, he knows me? <gasps> oh, he knows my name, people! Oh, did Sun tell you? In a way, we're technically the same. Oh, um... <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, what do I say? Oh, no. Save again. I keep saving this thing. Oh, I see. So, it basically saves depending on what you do. Uh, you two look similar. Uh, you two do look similar. Yes, but that's not all of it. We're two different people, but we share the same body. Which means... I could see and hear everything happening while you and Sunny met. Oh, so does that mean Sun can still see or hear too? Yes, of course. Oh, so yeah, this is kind of awkward. I mean, how is this going to work? Like, like, do we just date one of the sides or do we just date both of them? I don't know how this works, really. He says hello. <laughs> hello? Oh my gosh. Oh, and we got a nice little picture right there. Look at him. Look at him leaning over. He's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Moon laughs a bit, leaning back against the wall at the structure. I do think you should continue what that job is used uh, for, though. Right, right, on it. Well, the, the, for, the focusing back on the generator, I flip the switch and watch as the red eye and the red light of the, de of, the, of the device turn green. Well, looks like that works. I flipped it again before making my way back out of the structure, and I hear Moon following close behind. Standing up straight, I, atta I attached the, the, my... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. My flashlight to my belt before stretching my arms above my head. I sigh, arms dropping back to my sides as I go to turn the lights on from the desk. Alright, and there it is! The sun is back, baby! Awesome! I hear the lights turn down, and then I hear the lights turn back on, and the music of the daycare starts playing as I turn, the turn around and flick at the side, the side of sun already there, smiling brightly. Oh, and there he is! He's back! He's back to his former glory right there! Hello again! Hey, so you two just switched out whenever you need to? Nope. It depends on whether the lights are on or not. I'm in charge when the lights are on, and Mooney's in charge when it's off. <sighs> I still don't like that he decided to scare you, though! Weirdly enough, the sight of him intimidated with his arms class is weirdly endearing. Yes, he's an endearing boy, like, look at him. Hey, don't worry about that, I'm over it. Sun just pouts, turning his head, oh, head away from me. I smiled at the sight. <laughs> he's, oh my gosh. He's like, huh, that's so mean of him. Like, why would he do that to you? I'm angry. 
why do they keep the generators in there? Anyway, do you think it would be kind of dangerous to keep the generators in the place that the place kids would be playing in? Oh, well, that's just a temporarily thing. They're kind of been out about a commission, so thankfully they couldn't hurt anyone anyway. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I mean, why were the generators in the playhouses anyway? That's the part I actually did, I did just realize in the contents of the game. Like, why are the freaking generators in the bloody play, play playhouses? That's just weird. And when exactly are these things getting moved? Sun looks looks like he's about to respond, but go silent for a moment. I can literally hear the gears turning in his head. He just shrugs. Well, isn't that a re the reassuring? I turn back to the desk as I kept a keep a keep track of my progress. On and on, on it is a shortage or a checklist to keep track on how and how each of each generator is working. Oh my god, this is just, these are just so adorable. Like, look at Sun. He has a little freaking bop of a dino right there. Look at him, oh my gosh. I started looking around for a pen when, and then when Sun sticks his hand in front of my face, holding one with a cute little dinosaur on the cap. Oh, that's a pen. <laughs> I thought that was a lollipop at first. Here you go. I smiled at the gesture, taking a pen so I can mark my progress. Thanks. All right, here we go again. I go back to the cables, sighing at the tangled mess I can have to deal with. Okay, so I actually like that it actually gives you a little mini game of what to do in this segment. So that's pretty cool. All right, so, okay, so yeah, this is how it is. You have to find the ends of the cables in order to progress through this. So that's basically how it works. And so far, so good. It's actually pretty easy. You just have to click on the ends of the wires and that's it. As I go to turn the light, the light off again, I hear music blasting from somewhere else. Which is weirdly... Which is weird since usually the radio is off when the pizza plex is closed for the night. Any idea what that music is? That's the DJ! He makes his own music! So it's not out of the ordinary to hear it during the night when everyone's gone home. Oh, the DJ's playing it. Oh, okay, good, uh, fair enough. I like to be friends with him, but I'm too busy to leave this place most of the time. Oh, he just, he's just trying to keep, uh, keep watching this place. That's sad. I mean, you can make friends at any time. I mean, why do you want to keep track on everything since everything is closed right there? Dude, you can go anywhere you want. You don't have to stay in one place all the time. Really? Yep. When was the last time you left this place? Uh, okay, well, technically, I never left. But every hour when the power gets uh, gets revolted, Mooney goes on patrol around around the pizza plex to make sure we don't get any truers. He says the DJ makes for good company. I rub my eyes, feeling my lack of sleep catching up with me again. The stress of a new job is really taking a toll on my sleep schedule, I think. Uh... Uh... I'm not sure what to say, man. Why do they need a need moon to patrol the place? Why do they need need moon to patrol the place? Isn't that what uh, what the staff bots are for? The staff bots help, uh, help avoid and alert moon to anything, or... Anyone that shouldn't be there. I left out a yawn as I go back to my computer. That's cool. Switching the lights off in the daycare once again and descended into mostly silence. I hear gears one meadow warily behind me as Moon hums slightly. Oh, and there's Moon again. Hello, Moon. How you doing? Still tired, Sir Wolf? Oh boy, what gave that away? Uh, well, can we just be honest with him? Yes. Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> I hear Moon step away for a moment. Yanni again. I take my flashlight off my belt as I start to approach and approach the play structures, stopping once at a few and I'm a few steps away from the desk. I wait for Moon to come back, since I have a feeling 
I'll get to the get lost if he doesn't help me with finding the generators. Hearing the sound the sound of gears warning above me, I point my flashlight towards uh, towards the, <laughs> the ceiling. He's easily he's easier to find to find this time, probably because he's not trying to startle me again. He lowers himself to the floor, a long cable hooked onto his back, right from the ceiling. So that's how he flies his eyes around the place. Here, there we are. Here, take this. He holds out a already open soda can for me to take it a take. A grape flavored fizzy fast to be to be specific. Mmm, grape. That's really nice. Thanks. No problem. Sunny meant to get that given for you earlier. But <laughs> I had something different in mind. Oh, what do you mean? What's that malicious spurk ring you got there, huh? He has a smug grin on his face. Yeah, you decided to scare me half to death. Come on, live a little. I roll my eyes as I take a long, the long sip of the carbonated heart attack in a can. <laughs> Checking the watch in the watch in my other hand, I see that it's already near nearing one and one in the morning. One in the morning? Seriously? Oh my gosh. For an hour, I spend awake. I've I've gotten surprisingly little done. Great. You want to help with the other the other generators or what? Moon's expression didn't change. He just stares at me for a moment, before before speaking. You sound exhausted. I am exhausted. Shouldn't you take a break then? I take another sip of soda, raising an eyebrow. And do what? Well, I have my hourly patrol to take care of. You could always tag along. Uh... Hmm... Well, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I'm not sure as to what I would really do, really. I don't know. Man, like, Remy, what do I do in this segment? What do I do? There is a... There is a hot animatronic right there in front of me. Like, what do I do exactly? Please, Remy, tell me. Okay. You know what? Let's be nice. I'm gonna say, you know what? Sure, yes, let's do it. Oh, look, I got a moon! Oh, I see. So, depending on which choices you make, you can actually earn their affection. Like, you see, in Dating Sims, if you actually select the correct, uh, correct answer, you can actually uh, earn their affection and all that. So, that's basically how it is. You know what? Yeah, sure. Just as long as Vanessa doesn't see to see me, I guess. <laughs> Moose's and Moose's smile grew ever, ever so slightly at my at my statement. But it seems like more of a genuine smile than his gremlin look from earlier. Aw. Well, he's at least he's smiling. That's nice. I doubt that'll happen. The pizza place is a big place, so the chances of her running into us are rather small. I know, but still... Trust me, it won't happen. Besides, you need to take it easy for a while. You look like you'll pass out if you stand in and stand here for too long. I'd love to if I didn't have that I have a job to do. The cable still attracted his back. Um, moon and then the moon hovers ever so slightly above the ground before approaching me. Not right now, you don't. Without another word, Moon wraps his arms and arms around my torso before the cable lifts uh, lifts me up at at least forty feet above the ground. <gasps> oh no! I'm flying! I'm flying! Help me! I'm flying! What the heck? Holy! Panicked, I clinged onto him as I stared at the ground far far beneath me. Why am I flying? I am flying! Ah! <laughs> Moon, please! Moon doesn't seem to react, simply navigating through the air, carrying me with him. Don't worry, I won't drop you. Uh, uh, you better not! Oh, and now we're here already, cool. Moon clearly knows his place, like the back of his head, because it only takes around a few minutes for us to reach the Rizzi Atolium. <clears throat> uh, uh, I can't speak today, sorry. Ad Atrium. With the giant holograms, the glam rocks still attract uh, active, despite the pizza plex being closed for the night. 
We passed over a few security bots who who paid us no mind. Occasionally, one will look up at us and then continue on with the with the same blank expression as every other bot. I eventually stared to get used to being this high up the ground. Moon sees no, says nothing as he scans the area for intruders. Thankfully, seeing nothing out of the ordinary. Moon lands on the on the on the, on the railing on the third floor. Uh, luckily, th th luckily, <clears throat> likely th th about to change directions and head somewhere else. That is until an alarm starts blaring and blaring on one of his speakers, and he suddenly turns to look in the different direction. Oh no! Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who, did someone break in or something? Hopping off the railing. Moon sets me down before hovering off the ground again. Stay here. One of the staff bots alerted me to an intruder. Before I can, can get it, get another word in Moon. In Moon, <clears throat> another word in. Before I can get another word in, Moon leaves, pushing off the railing to give himself a boost as he flies off. Sighing, I looked at looked up where I see another staff bot looking at me, seemingly confused. Oh, hello there. Oh no, you better not be Daniel, I swear to god. If that's you, Daniel, I'm gonna scream. Just guessing by the way he st it stands and tilts his head when it sees me. It's hard to tell what these guys are thinking when they basically can't emote. Uh... I point at the bot. You saw nothing. The bot says nothing. <laughs> Probably because it has no mouth. I nod in understanding before going to sit in one of the booths in El's chip. Oh, okay then. Staring and staring at the moon at the menu on the other, other side of the, of the small restaurant, I remember something important. I haven't eaten anything since. What, this morning? Maybe that's also why I feel so out of it. If only I could could inhale the pictures of food on the wall. <laughs> I tried the next best thing and searched behind the counter for basically anything that's edible. I find an unopened box of nachos. Good enough. I hear... Um, I head back to the booth, opening the bag of chips and eating my make makeshift lunch. Peering back into the atrium, the butt isn't there anymore. From where I'm sitting, it looks like the number of staff bots around seems pretty smart as spares in general. Maybe they're gone to wherever Moon is, now that I know where he here he went anyway. I don't think much of it, simply continuing to feel the feel up on chips while listening to the droning ambience of the many bright lights in the atelier. I can feel my my ears ringing. I can feel my ears ringing from the dis from the silence. That and the sound of me eating the chips alone becomes de 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 def de definitely, deafening, deafeningly loud. The lack of ambience is almost unbearable. Standing up, I got to throw away the now empty uh, chip bag. One hand on my head as I as my vision goes blurry for a moment. Now that you think about it, my eyes are going blurry too. Walking back the back at the railing, I leaned and leaned and leaned against it, looking down and squeezing my eyes shut, as I as I as I tried to quell this uh, this nauseating feeling. When I open them again, my vision is still fading in and out, while a strange red orle seems to wash over what little I'm still able to see. Oh. What the fudge? Wait, what's going on? Stumbling back, I looked around for one of the staff bots for help. Or disoriented, but whatever is happening to me. But instead of the staff bot... Wait. <gasps> oh no! What? Oh no, it's not you again! What are you doing? What I vaguely see approaching me... From the right is a gray humanoid silhouette and two bright eyes that is fixated on me. Startled, I make a run for the stairs, hoping to find a staff bot somewhere nearby. My vision still hasn't fixed itself. In fact, it's gotten worse. 
And I miss it, Miss Stefan trembled down at the first to the first short flight of the stairs. I force myself back up, using a railing for support before something grabs the back of my shirt. <gasps> oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no, what do I do? Oh no, what do I do? 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 This is a big, this is a big, 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 big thing. I don't know what to do. Uh, fight back or, uh, or hold on to the railing. Oh crap, oh crap. Uh, uh. I let go and try to wing it of whoever grabbed me. Missing to it in a Jordanian vision. I'm up to do another railing and before I drag down to the, up the stairs is one of my arms. The attacker or attacker having an iron iron grip onto it. Looking up, I see someone clanged in the gray the, the gray ra uh, rabbit <laughs> costume. Bride red eyes staring down at me with an eerily large unmoving black grin. Let go, you B word! The sound of my voice is completely drowned out by the strange sound of my ears. The face of a person fading in and out as my sight continues to worsen by the second. Re the reduced into a drag doll. Reduced into a rag doll. It gets harder and harder for me to try and escape as I drag the drag back into L chip. The ringing is overpowered by the sound of my heart pounding. In my, in my head. I tried kicking my attacker, but they seem unfazed. Using just one arm to drag me back as the other one wails a large kick to knife. No! Don't kill me! Don't kill me, please! Don't! They're going to kill me. I'm just barely able to cling on and then on the, on the, the, the corner of the, of the counter. Trying to buy whatever time I can. Call for help. That's the only option here. Call for help. I try calling for help. I'm trying to call. I try calling for for someone, anyone to help me. Unsure if I can even be heard as I grip on the on the counters. So there starts to slip. Call for a for a staff lot. My attacker has both hands on the back of my shirt and is pulling hard. One of my hands slipped from the counter. I can't hold on much longer. I'm gonna die. Call for Moon. Oh, this is the only one left. Moon! Help me! Yeah, help me! You better get your freaking Moon and Moon face over here! And help me! I'm getting kidnapped by a rabbit person! I'm practically crawling on the, f on the floor, but the costume stranger yanks me back before closing, oh, the good pushing open the door to the kitchen and throw me in. There's no lights. Oh, no, no. There is no lights on in here, so I'm almost completely drowned in darkness as I land on the floor, or the cold tile floor, save for the small beam of life coming from beyond the door. Looking behind me, I see that bit of light starts slipping away as the attacker silhouette starts to merge in the darkness, the red eyes being the only thing I see, and probably the last thing I'll see. The beam of light from beyond the door felt sort of floods back into the room, and the gray rabbit is nowhere to be seen. My vision finally starts to clear up as I look towards whatever landed nearby. <gasps> oh! It's Moon! He saved me! I knew he would come over for me! I still like the picture, though! A different pair of red eyes look back at me and lunges at me before two familiar robotic arms grab me and pull me back out of the kitchen and into the Altinium. Oh my gosh, that's actually so cool. I like this art. Oh my gosh, just so cool. I can finally see clearly and the ringing noise is completely replaced by my racing heartbeat. Flying back from the Altinium to the daycare, Moose's grip on me is so strong that he's on the verge of crushing my spine. He finally starts to slow down as we pass over the daycare wall. And the once eerie silence hey he he <clears throat> excuse me hanging over us. He makes a smooth landing on the floor, the cable in his pack unhooking and retreating back. It feels like his arms are shaking. Or maybe that's me. <gasps> Oh, he cares so much. That's so adorable. I love it. Oh my gosh. Why? I can't see his face. 
he slurs his in the way of my the where my head is almost resting on his arm and his shoulder and he's staring at the floor. His arms finally loosened, as if he just let out a, a relief sigh before letting go of me. I myself can't find words of what just happened. Whenever I open my, uh, my mouth to speak, my mind completely blanks. It's that I drop to the floor. My fight, or flight, <laughs> is still kicked in, and my hands are shaken uncontrollably. Moons' expression darkens slightly. Does he want to say something? His face plant turns slightly, and he walks over to something on the floor a few yards away. My flashlight. He slightly picks it up and returns it to me. I'm pretty sure I can hear his fans raveling up, and he looks like he's in deep in thought. He sits down in front of me, resting his faceplate on the palm of my hands. Did she, she hurt you at all? I fidget the flashlight a bit. Battery's dead. I mean, I don't really think so. Uh, no, thank God. No, thank God. Good. I'm sorry for not being there sooner. Oh. And then... Oh my gosh, um... It's fine. Yes, it's fine. No worries. You should... You could have died. Well, I didn't. You still shown up, uh, shown up quickly, did it quickly enough that it didn't happen, so... Barely. Why do you care so much anyway? I basically just got here and, well, you barely know me. Oh, he's starting to have feelings for me, is that what it is? I mean, he saved me, so it's gotta mean something. This is my job. I don't just look after the kids that come in and out of the daycare. Everyone that steps into the building is my responsibility. And now that includes you too, Sarwolf. Moon suddenly gets, uh, gets back up and walks over to the massive doors on the desk. Where are you going? Locking this place up. Whoever attacked you is still in the building. I can't leave you alone here to go to... <clears throat> I can't leave you alone here to deal with it myself. And bring bringing you with me is too risky. I watch this moon and moves and moves various object, the ob objects in front of the door. From the, the from desk chairs to smaller smaller plate the, the, the plate structures basically anything decently heavy enough to barricade the door. Can't you just lock it? Already did, but I'm not taking any chances. Eventually, I'm able to stand up again and go over to the charging deck that the, the desk could recharge my flashlight. Sarwolf. Eh. I'm guessing you'd rather get out of here sooner than later, right? Oh, oh my gosh! I mean, what what did we say, man? I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, would he be feeling bad if I do? Like, oh my gosh, I'm not in a rush to leave myself, really, or say anything. Oh man, this is already tough, already bad. I don't know. Uh, why don't we try this? Not in rush to leave by myself, really. I live alone, so... Oh. So you can't stay here forever. Well, whenever you want to keep going with the generators, just say the word. Right. I remove my mat and my, flash and my flashlight from the charging deck, and sure enough, it works. It turned out that I turned it, turned it on and pointed back at the, uh, the structures. Shall we? Moo nods. And we wasted waste no time finding the next generator. Thankfully, it works just fine. With now that it was not a nut over it, we go back to the deck. The deck can turn the lights back on. Speaking uh, speaking up, I wonder how Suns is taking all of this. Oh yeah, I for, almost forgot about Sun. Yeah, because he was with us this entire time. Sure, Moon did say they can uh, they can both see or hear everything happening. Even if they're not the one upon apologizing the robot body, I catch a glimpse of the time as I'm, when I'm turning the lights back on. 2 a.m. The daycare is slowly lit up, and as usual, the music comes back on. Oh, and there we are, back with more of this stuff. Really, even with the cheerful music, 
the moon remains heavy as ever. However, I'm giving no time to think as I am strong and just swam back up, back around as a very worried son frantically checking me from any injury. Oh, there he is. Hey, son, how you doing? Oh my gosh, are you, are you sure you're okay, sir? Well, you poor thing. You must have been so scared. I'm so sorry we weren't in a ward there sooner. <laughs> if only we knew, we would have... Oh my gosh. Uh... Well, I mean, oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm okay, man. <clears throat> he continues to look at, look at my arms and torso to see if I'm hurt. But at least he isn't pulling me around like a rag doll. I have to worry. Keeping everyone safe here is my job. I can't protect one person then. He just cares so much. Like, I remember the DLC that he was just so sweet and very careful and stuff. You're like, oh my god, do you, anyone remember the freaking DLC? Oh my god, that was just so sweet of what Sundrop did, of course. Sundrop is visually distraught. His rays are practically drooping. Seems that didn't help much. Oh my gosh, calm him with a... Oh, what do I do? Oh, man, I want to calm him down. Well, I mean, can we just give him a hug? I want to give him a hug right there. It's a bit of a reach, considering how tall he is compared to me, even when kneeling. But I managed to wrap my hands around and <laughs> arms around the sun's torso, hoping that will calm him down. Sun doesn't say anything, but instead hugs me back. His internal fans are the fans getting much louder. He has one arm and an arm for my torso, and one hand slightly over the back of my head. Oh, he's just so sweet. Oh my gosh, that's wholesome the freaking stuff I'm reading. It's a gentle hug. It feels safe. We said nothing, and we say nothing for a few minutes. I was trying to calm him down, but honestly, this hug is a huge comfort for me too. No wonder we trusted, they trusted with kids. Even as an adult, I feel an odd sense of security around me without them. Considering what just happened, it feels nice. Question. Huh? What was Moon alerted to anyway? Oh, a little boy is stuck in to see Freddy again. Oh! You mean Gregory? Oh, this is taking place during the game? Is that what's going on? He seems irritated when he says that. Oh, irritated right there? Again? Ah, uh, yep. This isn't the first time the little rule breaker is snuck in here. <laughs> he still is very, very envious over freaking Gregory. <laughs> he's just, he's just angry at this. Something tells me that security isn't as strict as, as you would, would think. Though, if they, if a kid managed to sneak in, in more than once. But, if if we if he just if just wants to see Freddy, then I don't really see a problem with that. It's not like the kid's hurting anyone, and I doubt Freddy's gonna let him get into trouble. Huh. <sighs> he seems almost playfully bitter. What does this kid even do? Even I should ask later, though. I have to keep going on my generators. I don't, don't get very far though before I'm suddenly picked on, picked up by by Sun. Oh. What what the what, what are you, where are we going? Son manages to carry me with one hand, using the other one the one the, the, the most the, the most various other objects in front of me in the massive door, making sure no one's getting in here. Can't you put put me down though? No, after all that, there's no way I can leave you on your own now. Oh my God, he doesn't want to leave me alone. That's just so sweet. Oh my gosh. What if that person finds you here, and we're not around? Son, we're in the same room. If that person somehow got in, I'm pretty sure you'd, uh, you'd notice. Looking up at Sonny's face, I noticed a long cable lowered at a lower at the ceiling and hooked up onto Sonny's back. It... <sighs> I still cannot get over this beautiful scenery right there. The art in this game is very beautiful, and I love it to pieces. You heard... you heard Moon. We're not taking any chances. We suddenly jerked... A, we suddenly jerked upwards, and I'm lifted into the air along with Sun. 
applied the blight much faster and more recklessly than Moon. Hey, at least let me call Vanessa first. I don't think she even knows about that freak since the sap bots didn't react at all. Oh gosh, you're right. Okay, but we're making it quick. Sure thing. Sun suddenly and suddenly changes directions in the air as we start heading back towards the desk. However, I think Sun Tr Sun Tri is dropping from the from the surface height way too early, as we basically set free, falling towards the ball pit. Oh crap! <laughs> oh my gosh! Grab onto him! I am just barely able to grab onto to Sun before gravity it takes me. It takes me. We're both tangled in the, in the cable, though. Once again, we are we are stunned into silence. Just when I thought things were calmer down, I feel my heart going a mile a minute from the, the from adrenaline. Sun is basically having a harder time, though, just trashing in the tangled cable. Sun, chill out. Let me get to get you out of that. No, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. I can get out myself. I sigh. Standing in silence about a minute as Sun fail fails to get out himself. Sun. Sun finally stops. His face and face played played drooping and drooping in defeat. Oh. oh no, don't be mad. Don't be mad. I know it happens all the time. You don't need to feel bad about it, boy. Do you want my help now? Fine. Alright then, hold still for a, for a second. Giving him out of the out of the cable isn't hard. Once I'm done, I unhook the cape. <clears throat> I unhook the cable from from his back and let it retreat back into the ceiling. I gave the gave son a minute before I decided to speak again. You want to get out of the ball pit now? Yeah. I can't tell if he's upset or embarrassed at what uh, what just happened as we exit the ball of the ball pit and make it uh, make the wall the the, the, the black cats. The walk back to the, to the desk. That's kind of why I don't use the cable, funnily enough. I usually just leave it to Moon. Oh, really? Actually, I kind of get it now. Not to diss you or anything, but Moon seems to know how he was doing, I think. <laughs> yep. He was, he was a lot more time to practice because of the patrollers. Plus, even active whenever the kids are sleeping. So, he doesn't go free-falling and end up tangled in the cable? Well, no, but I could do it just as well. <laughs> oh my god, he's just a silly boy. Like, look at him. No doubting that, you just need more time. Uh, you want to try it again, then? I can uh, keep a tighter for you. Uh, jeez, I don't know what to say, man. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm sure. Um... But what if we say this? Like, what do we say? What this? Do you want to try it again, then? I could keep a timer for you. No, wait. What do you need a timer for? To keep track on how long you can uh, you can go without it out getting tangled. No, I'm not doing that again. I can't help but laugh at, at Sons' embarrassment. All while the poor guy just crosses his arms and pouts. Okay, okay, you don't need to do that. Just, uh, just, uh, just felt like messing with you, that's all. <laughs> I politely rolled my eyes as I got to go to pick up my phone. Glancing back at Sun, I pulled up and I pulled up Vanessa's content on my phone and hold it out out for for Sun to take. Y'all want to call Vanessa for me? I can work on the next generator in the meantime. Yes, please. <laughs> Sun wastes no time grabbing the phone and Vanessa then calling Vanessa, and I leave him and lead him to it as I go to sort out the next mess of cables. All right, more sets of cables. Here we go. All right, all right. Oh wait, okay. All right, so this again. All right, boom. And uh, and uh, but oh, boom, boom. Easy, easy peasy, of course. Standing up front, I stretch my 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 arms over my head as I glance back at Sun and the phone. He has a device held in front of him, uh, probably on the speaker mode, and he seems concerned. Not that I was really paying attention to what he was uh, was doing just now. There, uh, there's no need for that. 
I'm sure we'll see what the, what I mean if you look at the cameras. Maybe not right now, but whenever you have the time. He's waving his uh, his other hand in front of him nervously, and his rays have struck have struck a little bit. What did Vanessa say to him? Santa son uh, glances over over to me for a moment before Vanessa starts talking again, and he said that it has his attention back on the phone. If something really did happen, the stat bots would have let me know. Well, they didn't, though, so the stat bots are not doing anything. But what if they don't? That shouldn't be possible. I believe it, I believe it, if it was, it was just one bot, but there's no way that many of them would just uh, stop working out of nowhere. Well, what if they didn't think the person was dangerous? Son, that's not possible. They're supposed to go off when they see someone that shouldn't be there. Look, I don't want to completely rule out it around what you're saying, but what they're telling me just doesn't add up. I'll ask Sire Wolf about it. Now I have to go check on the, on the kid again. Before Sun couldn't respond, Vanessa hangs up. His arms, uh, arms drop in defeat as I make my way over to him. And he said he hands back the phone. Oh my gosh. You okay? Uh, are you okay? Sun forces a smile and waves his hands in front of, in front of him, him nonsensically. Yeah, I'm fine. Just worried. Oh. <laughs> No, he just, I just hate when he just feels so bad about things like this, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, no kidding. She thought it was a weird bug we, that we had a while back, that maybe it was, uh, it was making me see things that weren't there. A bug? It's a long story. But she thought maybe I was hallucinating a rabbit we, that, that we used to have there. But I told her the, 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 the person was dressed like a rabbit. Uh, what? Yeah, but try telling the, telling her that it was real. Uh, since you were there and there used to be a rabbit there. Oh, right. There used to be a rabbit, wasn't there? Yes. Bonnie, I presume. Yeah. I don't know much about him other than his name was Bonnie. And he was one of the Glamrocks. Yes, that's right. So he was uh, he was one of the glam rocks, but something happened to him. It, it was actually established in the DLC too. Ah, huh. yeah. The others don't really like to talk about it. So hmm, I guess that's something else we can ask Vanessa about later. Maybe. Remembering what I'm supposed to be doing, I put my phone back on, in my pocket and go to the computer to shut off the up the lights the third time. Halfway there, glancing at the at the little digital clock in the corner of the get the screen, I keep a keep a mental a mental note on the on the oh gosh <clears throat> excuse me a note on the on the top. Three a.m. Oh boy, three a.m. Here we go. There's there's still more around here. We just gotta keep going. I sigh, not wasting any more time in turning off the turning the lights off. Watching as the room dims around me. And I'm only my only source of light is the star is the screens and oh gosh. <clears throat> and the little charging station in the wall. Yep, and we're back to night. I sigh and glance back at Moon, who gives a, who's giving me a knowing look. Oh hey Moon, how you doing? You okay? Feeling tired again, Starwolf? Uh yes again. Yeah. Probably a mix of an adrenaline and sugar starting to wear off, I think. Maybe I was hallucinating the rabbit after all. I smiled slightly at my joke. Moon, however, seems less than amused, giving me a death pan stare. I clear my throat, reading and reading the room and taking my flashlight back and back out. I take my flashlight out and back out, making my way a few steps at Hep's desk in the time. <laughs> I just can't help with this angered expression right there. Like, Moon, don't be mad at me. Please don't. However, when I look back at Moon, I notice the cable lowering behind him. He pulls it, he points to the point C, the, fing the, the, the finger at me, as he starts hovering off the ground. Stay here. I'll be right back. Okay, then. With that, he leaves the cable, allowing him to meditate over and over the barriers of the daycare, and disappeared. Struggling and lowering and lowering my my flashlight, 
I stay put. Not like I was going anywhere anyway. I eventually decided to sit on the floor with my legs crossed and my chin right there resting on my palm. Since I have nothing better to do, I looked around. I looked around at my surroundings. Several towers of, of scraps of form could form cans, a sparkling floor, and the large cutouts of the glam rock animatronics that decorated the place. For a place that's full of kids, uh, kids during the day, it's weirdly really organized. Yes, it definitely is organized, isn't it? Probably because of Sun. He did say that he never left this place, and I can't imagine keeping it nice. Uh, and I can imagine him, him you make it, uh. I can imagine keeping it looking nice is a big reason why. I can't help but feel kind of bad though. Sun and Moose his entire lives are in this daycare. I know they have each other, but I can't imagine spending all my time in such a small area. My train of thought is cut off when the pair of red eyes peered at me just behind and beyond the barrier. I sigh, pushing myself back up. There you are, Moon. Are we gonna? A loud ringing, a ring hits, it hits my ears. I jumped, but dropping my flashlight. What? What? Covering one of my ears and one to one hand, I tried to pick it back up. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh no, not you again! Wait, how did you get up there, mate? Get away from me! And a familiar red haze overlay my vision. With it, the with it now back on my hands, I pointed in the direction. Of my of the eyes, however, they disappeared as quickly as they can, as quickly as they came. And the noise in my ears faded into nothing, and the set as in the summer, a subtle ambulance in the daycare. My arms dropped in my sides. I hear a familiar sound of gears and robot the robotics. When I looked up, Moon was already re-entering the daycare. I'm not even sure if. What I what I saw was real, or my mind playing tricks on me due to stress. Either way, I tried and tried keeping and keeping deep uh, deep breaths to calm down my rapid rapidly breathing heart as Moon and the Moon approaches me, the cable unhooking from his back, and retreating back up. <sighs> I wanted to do a quick check around the daycare, just to keep an eye on things. Also, I brought you this. He gives me an open can of fizzy fazz, and although, reckonly, I take it. Oh, thank you! Another can of soda? That's really nice! My gosh! So nothing out of the ordinary? So far, no. That's good. He stares at me for a moment as I take a long sip of soda. Somehow, it tastes even sweeter than normal. Did something happen while I was away? Huh? Your heart's racing. Oh. Well, I mean... Well, I mean, we're not here to tell the, to tell a lie. Well, we gotta tell him the truth because we just saw Vanny right there. Vanny's here. She's coming to get us. Like, what the fridge? But yes. Let's tell him the truth right there. Well, Moose's expression softens as he waits for me to answer. I was over there, waiting for you to come back. And over there, I pointed to where I saw them. Just past the barrier. I saw these red lies. And I thought... It was you at first, but then I started hearing this loud noise. Moose's eyes widened slightly. It was the same thing I heard when that rabbit lady attacked me, so... Moon looks to where I'm pointing and takes a, so takes a few steps towards it. <sighs> Did it look like she's trying to get in? I don't know. She was just there. And right before you showed up, she just, well, vanished. I can hear hear moons as interior fans get louder. Hopefully that means she can't get in there. Yeah, that would be nice. The fact that she knows you're head you're here isn't good though. You don't say. I take another long sip of the soda, using my other hand to point my flashlight towards the structures. Shall we now? Moon tilts his head at me. Shouldn't you give it a minute? Why? I don't think trying to work in this level of stress is a good idea. It's a good thing. I'll be fine. I managed to fit. I managed to pass twelve hours on the on like ten minutes of sleep. I'll live. Moon gives me me a little look, sighing in annoyance. Okay, we can check this one generator. 
then you're taking a break. Uh, she's sure. I mean, why would I say it say it uh, sarcastically? Like, what the heck? Sure. I begin only give, uh, gives in for now. Moon nods and nods his head at the structures, motivating, mit, motioning, Ming for me, <clears throat> motioning me to follow to follow him as he leads me to the next generator. I stand. Uh, I set the can. Does I set the soda can on the ground by the structures before I follow Moon in. He plops down next to the generator, looking over at me. Go on. I nod, pointing my flashlight down as I can test the generator. The machines is ill. Lead, it lend. <clears throat> the machine says lend, it lens turned and turned green as the machine and mechanisms come or become roaring to life. Good, no problems. I do notice that my my hand holding the switch is shaking a bit, though more than that normal. Something wrong? What? You're just staring at it. Oh. I switched the generator back off and. Picked up my flashlight before making making my way back out of, the, out of the structure. After picking up the soda can, I left on the ground and wait for a moment for Moon to follow, lightly tapping my foot on the ground. Moon stares back up, all but still swatching, but and gives me a concerned look. Are you sure you're alright? Yeah. Why? Moon points at my hand holding the flashlight. I didn't realize it, but... I'm gripping the thing way tighter than I thought. I'm loosening my in my hold as the on it and as I walk to the walk back to the desk. See? See why I told you to take a break now? I rolled my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Moon says it uh, stays uh, silent, leaving back against it against the desk as I pull the the, the pull the put the put down the soda and turn the lights on. Rise up, lights! Rise up! Still, I just like this feature where these, uh, where the character just basically switches personalities. This is so fun, my gosh. But yeah, the situation is not good there, Saro. So please, you just gotta not do things like this. I mark my progress and uh, turn my flashlight off, watching as Sun sees, uh, sits on the desk, uh, desk, lightly, lightly kicking his legs back and forth. So, break time! I sigh. I can't. I have to finish this. Hey! You said you did it. You take a break after that one. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't keep dragging this out. Come on, Syro, please. I make my way to the cables and cables of the floor, getting extra cheerful as I go to go to sit down since my hands are still shaking. A lot. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this might be our final one, I think. I don't know if this is our final one, but I, I assume it is. Sorrow, no! What the- uh, Sun suddenly grabs my wrist and practically drags me away from the wall. Oh, oh gosh, oh this is different. He's trying to grab me, he's trying to get me out of here. What the heck? You're shaking! It's not safe to do that now. Technically, he's not wrong. Hell, I'm practically vibrating. You sure that that was a soda or not an energy drink that Moon gave me? I know the sun's his rays are shrinking a bit. And he's avoiding eye contact. Sun. Oh no, he's worried about me. Sun. What did you do? Okay. Maybe I put some sun drops in the drink. I thought it would help. He said it so fast that he said he said him and his words starts and it starts blending together. As I can still understand him. Seriously? I'm sorry. Son and son let go of my wrist, staring at the ground like a kicked puppy. Wait, so he put sun drops in the drink? Why in the world would he do that such a thing? Uh huh. I try to go back to the cables, only for son to drag me over to the desk again. Son, really? I know I messed up, but messing with cables and machines with shaky hands isn't easy isn't safe. Oh, uh, jeez. Well, you want to go along with it, or I'll be fine. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. What do I really say to this? Well, I don't want to be mean, so I'll go along with it. I say. I sigh. You really think so? The uh, sun stares at me for a second before nodding. I raised an eyebrow at him, but I decided to stop resisting. Alright, fine. 
Sun the sun doesn't say anything for a moment before suddenly picking me up. What? One second. I notice the cable's white cable, uh, cable white, uh, lowering. Good lord, not again. Sun, no! I'll be okay this time. The cable uh, lifts, uh, lifts us up the ground much more slower this time. <gasps> oh, is he getting the hang of it already? Oh, we better get the hang of it. Come on, you gotta fly. It's like properly then. Fly like moon. Come on. Okay, he isn't messing and messing around this time. Since he's not resting and rushing this time, the ride isn't nearly as reckless. We're only in the air for a few moments before Sun sets onto the small balcony that lands into his room. Okay, why are we here? Just a uh, precaution, that's all. Ooh, his room? What are we going to find in his room right there, huh? Sure. Taking a good look at the, at the room behind us, it feels... Oddly lonely compared to the daycare. It's a small... Oh, so we got here a room. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, this game, though. It's a small... There's a small staircase leading into the space, which is only fairly illuminated by the bright, ver the, the vertescent lights behind us. The floor is wooden, and looks like it hasn't been swept in ages. And there's various random objects were sewn, sewn around the floor. Plushies, swirls, uh, stoves, form of foams, the foam shapes, and other things. In the corner next to a small, a small chair is a broken staff bot. Its body mangled and its head ripped off. I hear Sun give a nervous chuckle. Here, clearly noticing him he is staring at his well less than colorful living space yeah your place is really something else here son you live here like why what the heck <laughs> welcome to my room oh my gosh oh jeez why ask why it's so dreary I mean I got I mean I wouldn't say it's messy but I mean why is it so dreary huh where someone's so happy, this place feels sad. I don't mean that as an insult or anything. Just the vibe I'm getting. No, I get it. Normally, we don't get visitors, and we're so busy that uh, we never did never really consider it. Huh. Well, Sun goes and plops down onto a single bean uh, bean bag chair in the corner of the room. Whatever you want to do up here, feel free. Okay. I looked around the bed, seeing if anything in particular catches my eye. One corner corner is covered in various drawings, most likely from the, from the kid's sun and moon looked after on a daily basis. There's also a few messy rag dolls and other little things made to look look at them. In another another corner, what appears to be a hole within the wall leads uh, leads into another room. My eyes land on Sun again. It's, oh no. Don't make me feel so investedly emotional about this. The damaged tap his tap bot rests in his lap as he tries to reattach his head. He doesn't really seem to notice me watching at all. Seeing how careful he's being with it makes me wonder how that bot got up there in the first place. But maybe I should leave that question for later. Oh, this is just so emotional. Like, look at Sun, though. He's trying to fix him and all that. He's just such a sweet boy. My gosh. Um. I mean, what do we do, really? Investigate the small room? Or ask about the drawings? Oh, man. I don't really know. Um. Um, investigate the small room, maybe? The hole in the wall is just big enough and enough for me to climb climb through. Thus greets uh, greets me to the, the, <laughs> greets me on the other side. Lots of dust. Drain uh, dread dr dr <clears throat> dreading the un and oncoming uh, squeezing fit. I take a quick take a quick the, the quick look around the small room. Some glamrock drawings always accompanied. Uh, uh, oh gosh, wait, what's this room? We're going into a different room? What's going on in here? What the heck? Boxes covered in the, in the floor. 
enclosed rag to the rag to join the drawings. There's also a random wooden board. Is this a spare storage room or something? What catches my attention the most, though, is a store arcade and decay machine in the far left corner. It's really dusty and looks like it hasn't been touched in decades. Above the screen reads that it reads the title of the game, Balloon World. Despite the, that game clearly being abandoned for a while, the screen still uh, still flashes between between a litter and the late oh gosh, <clears throat> the leaderboard. The screen reading insert coin in the pixel front. I don't have my wallet for me to me right now. Otherwise, I would give it give the game a try. Maybe I can return before I leave if I have the have the time. Well, now there's not much else to see here. However, as much as I make my way through the hole in the wall, I notice that the lights in Sun and Moon's room are out. <gasps> oh no. Uh, hello? Actually, scratch that. They're just gone. The lights burned out. I jumped and jumped slightly, turning to see Moon, right next to me, holding and holding the curled the, the curled up the lights as he goes to sit and sit on the beanbag chair. Oh. I can't say I'm surprised. Don't tell anyone I said this, but the people in charge of this place are known to slot no slurk. Uh, no, nah, I'm not arguing with you. Oh my gosh, I just uh, I I didn't even mean to go into the circus secret room. Is that allowed or something? I will give them some credit though. If it were to warn for them being stingy, I might not even be here right now. What? Wait, what does he mean by that? Remember that bug? Remember that bug we've been mentioning? I nod. Moon leans back in the in the chair a bit, facing the ceiling. If you want, I can tell you some things. I've been lying in a lying. I'd be lying if I say this, and I wasn't curious. It would definitely explain some things, like how Moon got the got the red eyes and why the generators are in the play-to-play -play structures. I nod before dragging a small cushion a bit closer to where Moon is and sat down. Ugh, where do I start? Oh, so he's going to explain some things here? Oh boy, get ready for some lore right there. I'm cracking my fingers in anticipation right there. It was a safety precaution. They wanted time to fix whatever was wrong with me. So, for a while, uh, no, no one but the staff was allowed in here. So the bug mainly affected you? Tentacly. However, I would be lying if I said Sun wasn't affected at all. While the staff was using the generators to deal with me, Sun was left on its own for a while. I won't go into detail, but I can't imagine how that felt like with him. Sun would go weeks without seeing anyone, while still having me to deal with. He sighs, arms and arms stretching out onto, <laughs> onto the floor as he stares at the ceiling. I should have fought, and have fought against that bug harder than I did. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for Moon already. Stop it. Stop making me feel so bad for Moondrop. Come on, man. <laughs> He's just trying his best and all that. Like, what the fridge? Well, that certainly clears some things up, but it still doesn't answer any everything. E oh gosh, man, the difficulties are really the, the 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 choices are very difficult. Really, like oh my gosh, uh, oh, I got the moon. All right, so I got a moon right there. Cool. Well, you weren't in control of yourself, right? No, I wasn't. But then stop being so hard on yourself. I say you're more than making up for it now. And I think Sun agrees with me. Yeah, he does. Exactly. Oh, oh my gosh. Alright, so we're basically leveling up already with them. It's nice. A small smile creeps onto Moon's face as he sits up. If only the rest of the staff were just as nice. <laughs> yeah, I am nice right there. I'm nice as ever. How are you feeling though? What? Is all the extra sugar starting to wear off? I completely forgot about that. Even though that's why we're up here in the first place. 
I stopped shaking, which is definitely a good sign. Yeah, I think so. All right then. Moon gives it and gets up and walks to the balcony as the cable lowers to his level. Ready to continue? Yeah, yeah, one sec. Checking my phone and the time and every new new notifications, I push myself up the floor, one the one hand on the curtain the curtain covered wall for support. However, I feel something stick to the palm where I pull my hand away. Hearing it off in my other hand, I realize it was a piece of paper that's likely being been taped to the wall. Oh, paper? Oh gosh, what's what are we gonna find in the paper, huh? What catches my eye though? Is one word written in the bold of bold black letters, missing. I don't get a good a good look at the at the small poster before Moon's voice snapped at uh, snapped me out of it. Sorry, Wolf. Uh, yeah, yeah. I clearly covered up and I covered up the poster with the curtain before speed walking walking to Moon. Yeah, we basically hide hid it from it from everyone here. <laughs> The lights from the daycare shining onto the balcony caused Moon to transform back to it affects his son, who waves at me. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Alright, and that's where we basically are going to bloody start the thing again. And I'm assuming this is the last rest, last round, I, I presume. Wasting no time, Sun picks me up and brings me back in the back down to the desk. My mind wanders back to the back to the to the poster. The only other detail I got from that was that it was the victim is seven years old. Just a kid. Oh yeah, so we found a missing poster. So what does that even mean? A missing poster of a seven-year-old. Like, what? So, what do you think? Huh? Of what Moon told you about that bug. It's been hard for you both. <laughs> and I got another, another one right here. It does make me appreciate how things are now, though. It also makes me appreciate having a Mooney around, though. <laughs> Mooney, that's a cute name. Love that. Not having him around that long was not fun. I shrugged. Hey, I rather, I rather. Hey, I say you two are at least learn learn something from it. Not that that it completely cancels it out, but you know. <laughs> sun it as sun nods, smiling brightly as usual. I sigh, glancing at the remaining cables. I take it, I take my phone, and the phone out of my pocket to check it, and check the time quickly. 5 a.m. Oh boy, it's almost time to get up. It's almost time for morning season. All right, so we better get going right there. We gotta go. Well, I'm officially putting in, putting in an all-nighter, and uh, nothing I'm un unfamiliar with. All right, now it's time to bloody do this again. Oh, frick. Kaboom. No. Ka kaboom. 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 Darn it. Oh, I've already got it. Okay. I think I have to do this in order, probably. Yeah, I was clicking that. Alright, did that. Oh, uh, boom. And, uh, boom. And, uh, um, yeah, get the, get the boom. And last one. Done. Done. Good. I say seated on the floor for a minute. Stretching my arms above my head as I lay down in the cold, hard tile. Sleeping in that, that chair definitely didn't do my back or back any favors. I closed my eyes for a minute to block out the uh, the fluorocyte a light, a light pouring into my eyes. From not that uh, not that it really helps, hints and uh, hints of orange and yellow managed to break through. I stay like that for a minute until something blocks out out, out the light. Oh, what? Huh? Opening them, I see Sun standing over me. Hands on his knees. Oh, hands on his knees? What? Are you okay, Sarwolf? I toss, it, I toss an arm over my hand, over my eyes. Yeah, yeah, uh, all good. Need a hand? I hear his footsteps as he, as he moves and moves around me. A good enough sign to peek out from it from under my, my arm as any. Sons is giving me this uh, his uh, his out outstretched arm hand, right? Take his hand. Take the hand. We must take the boy's hand with me. Breathing out, uh, bre breathing out a laugh. I set my hand my arm and arm and the arm beside me, and use my other 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 to grab his. He smiles brightly as he pulls me up, putting and putting his other hand on my shoulder for for balance. Thanks. No problem. 
Sonny gave me, me a pat on the shoulder before starting to, uh, starting to walk back to the desk. I'm about to follow him, but I stopped when, did it, when I noticed something. A few handprints on his back, along with bits as I am assuming is painted marker ink. Oh, wait, he has stuff on this stuff? Son? Yes? Is that paint on your back? Oh? Son Lazo Lazo laughs uh, bash, uh, bashfully, uh, waving his hand. Uh, that's nothing. You know how kids are. <laughs> oh, wait. He has paint on his back this entire time? He didn't even see it? What the fridge? Why in the world did he not notice that, huh? Well, yeah, I figured. Uh, does the uh, maintenance staff help you with that, at least? Oh. All he does is fidget his his hands. Eyes towards, uh, towards the computer. When... Well, that answers it. Uh... Say nothing or ask why. Ask why. How about arm bowed, eyebrows, eyebrows, uh, frowned. I followed the old son back to the desk. This stuff really can't be bothered, huh? Ah. <sighs> I leaned over to leave over the desk, resting both arms on it as I looked up at him. I don't know. The way you've talked about the staff here, do they really care that little about you and Moon? Sun shrugs, trying to keep the mood up. Oh my god, they didn't even bother checking on them? These poor boys! Why didn't you check up on these poor boys? Like, they're freaking ridiculous. Well, they're not for everyone. Some don't mind us, others do. But we try. Huh. So, you're sure it's fine? And Sun nods. The bells in their wrists, their wrists in emanating a soft charm as he as he gives me a double thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You think whoever is as part of as parts and services would be more on top of things? Well, I'm sure they're busy. There's no need to bother them. Every part of Sons' body is giving off a different a different signal. His hand waves everything off. His rays shrink down. His rays shrink back, and his smile is forcing its way onto his face. Something wrong? No! I blinked. Sun clearly knows that I'm not convinced. Just, uh, they're busy enough as is. Uh, wouldn't want them to worry about us. Is that about the bug? Oh my gosh, we can't even hide. He can't even, he tries to hide it, but he knows that he can't, really. Sun's just staring on the floor. One hand fidgeting with a ribbons around his wrist. Mooney already let you would have led you on on it. It's only fair that I tell you some things too, right? If you insist. Well, while the daycare was closed, we weren't really seeing anyone. And of course, the sun didn't stick a stick around long when we the, they they had to come in, to come in here. They. They mainly stopped by to install the generators and make sure they were working to keep Moody away. And I keep some uh, some of them talking once. One of them asked if they really needed to keep bot the uh, bot each of us. Wait, but um, okay. I think this uh, the wording here is a little bit messed up here, but I'll keep going to keep both of us around after. Oh. So that's why he doesn't like parts and services. He's still worried that they're gonna, they're going to get rid of him. Oh, they're going to try to get rid of him because of the bug. Oh my gosh! Don't do that. I love Moon. I love both Sun and Moon. Come on, man. Everything's fine now. I know that. I, I just, I still can't help but worry though. I don't know if I can handle being completely alone here. Moon did mention Sun being isolated for a while, but if the staff did all that uh, just to keep Moon from at bay, huh? Uh, jeez. I mean, I'm not sure really. What do I do? I mean, do I need to lift his mood, or do I ask what Moon did? I mean, we already did that, but I'm not sure. I want to save it and see as to what happens, really. What did he do? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. What exactly did Moon do? Oh, jeez. Sun looks at me, silent. 
just curious since apparently the staff have to go to go to those links just to keep uh, keep him out. Can't help but wonder, you know. So I, uh, the son lightly hugs himself as he looks towards the computer. Maybe it would be better if Moon answered that. I followed his as his gaze, the computer the Peter screen and sitting idly, waiting for me to issue the usual com the command. I guess. Maybe I should try steering this conversation back on track. So, how do you feel about all the, about how things are now? I fidgeted a vision with the with the scroll the whole button on the on the computer net the computer mouse. Glancing at the time, we're already almost halfway through the through the hour. Didn't think I might shift what it would include this much and much talking. At least that makes this job more interesting than sorting and sorting cables in silence. I can definitely say I like how things are. Seems as uh, seems nice knowing everything is mostly back to normal. That's good at least. Moon did it the sun suddenly grabs my shoulders and forces me to face in the computer. Just keep look keep going then. I don't want to keep uh, keep you from your responsibilities for too long. Fair enough. I looked at looked back to the, the back at the at the oh gosh. At the at the time and saw his sigh as uh, Sun sits in the desk again. For God's sakes. For God's sakes, I would have inhaled the hell the more bottle the uh, men mountain me pills if I knew I'd be up this late. Sun seems to be has to be a double take. Uh, putting but putting the uh, pointing at me like he wants to say something before backing off. <laughs> what? Language <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, language. You heard Sonny right there. Language. I raise an eyebrow, cracking a slight smile on his uh, on his antics. Son, I'm an adult and there's no one around. I know, I know, it's just force and habit. <laughs> I snicker at it, uh, but I snicker at it. I snicker at that. Even when he's not working, it has a it has a it has a it has a filter. Uh, jeez. Uh, oh my gosh. I mean, that's cute. It's cute though. Yes, I lift his beard up. It's cute. That's kind of cute. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, so if you actually do sometimes get things correctly, you aren't a pitcher. Sun says nothing for a moment. He's uh, his rays are like spinning as he sits cross-legged on the, on the desk. What? <laughs> I shrug, gotta get checking, uh, checking my phone for any notifications. Just the fact that you don't cuss at all. You definitely could. It's not like you get in trouble for it, but you just well don't. Oh come on, man! <laughs> don't try to force him to do something like that. He's he's innocent. Come on, don't don't get the innocent to do such things. Don't bloody no bloody astray him with doing something like this that he doesn't want to do. Well, uh, I have to. I rather that I'd rather that than never risk uh, saying something bad in front of the kids out of habit. How about Moon? Does he have a twenty-four to four-hour filter? Uh, about that, I think the bug affected his filters a bit, so... Pfft. It's not funny! <laughs> it kinda is! Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're just so just a jerk, seriously. Sun slightly pulls it uh, and uh, puts both hands on either side of his hand, uh, his head. Before gently isn't like, making me and me uh, turn to face a uh, face... <clears throat> to face a computer before letting go. I rolled my eyes, once the other one's cracking and cracking a smile in his antics. Alright, alright. See you in the meantime. Alright, and now we're back over here with Moon, our final night, probably. The usual. Lights out. Moon's out. Uh, sitting cross-legged on the desk. So about that filter. Yes. I can say for- <laughs> How about it? Oh, gosh! You said a naughty word! Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yes. They can hear everything. They, it's so funny that both of them can hear everything if they change if they change filters. That's they, they they like they like bloody hear everything. Like it's really funny that they just just. Uh, I'm sorry, I just can't really speak right now because my voice is drying out. I'm sorry, but you get what I mean. They switch personalities, but they have the same hearing and stuff. I blinked, not expecting that, or at least not expecting him to do that so soon. Nothing. <laughs> I sneak away to the desk. 
feeling the headache, headache coming on when then when I start walking towards the play structures. Thankfully, it uh, it feels like normal. It feels like a normal. I only sleep for ten minutes. Headache, and not in the weird, a weird rabbit lady is about to kill me. Headache. Never, never did uh, did I think I did I'd be happy for my headaches to be on and on the lack of sleep. But if it, if this night couldn't get any weirder, Moon hops off the desk and catches up with me. Honestly, I think I deserve workers' cop and a good cop and a good cop with it. Cause I'm definitely not getting into being paid enough to barely survive near uh, nearly being murdered by a woman in a rabbit's and uh, rabbit's out out uh, onesie. <laughs> Don't joke, uh, joke that. Don't joke like that. Right. Yeah, no joking about Vanny. No joking about Vanny allowed in the halls. Moving on. That aside, you'd be lucky if they that they even believe you. Moon makes a makes a gesture asking me to follow him, and I tag along as he guides me towards the fourth the fourth generator. Ugh. Not that not that it's your fault. Either just uh, just not uh, not what you call urgent. Again, tell Everyone, uh, don't again. Don't tell anyone I said that. I'm not trying to get and uh, get scrapped anytime soon. Uh, yeah, good, uh, good plan. I can faintly see to see the red light in the next generator behind the frame with the centers and center st structure. Just one more, more about. Just one more after this, and I'm home free. One more, and I get to leave. I'll leave not knowing when or if I'll see these two again. Might as well get any questions out of the way, though. Hey, random question. Huh? Uh, jeez. Just where did the word the bug came from? Or just what the made you do? Or something? Oh my gosh. Um, what do I do, really? Uh, gosh. Um, well... Can we ask him the same question that we did? Or something? Not sure. The sap puts these generators to deal with you, right? Moon says nothing for a bit. Doesn't even look at me as we make it to make our way up the up the structure. Yes. Really hoping uh, hoping this doesn't upset him. What happened exactly? Like what did you even do? Silence. Moon stops. I also stop, remaining just a few feet away. I wait for him to say something. Anything. Moon? Nothing. He keeps his back of that bag turned to me. Oh my gosh. It's better if I don't say. What? Moon? You couldn't, it couldn't, it couldn't have been that bad. Uh, you thank me? And if it was? I can't find a response for that. But... If it really is as bad as he says... No, there's no way. I mean, you did say you had no control when... Drop it, Sir Wolf. I'd, I'd rather not think about it. Not now. Can I at least ask why? I don't like talking about it. I keep quiet as Moon continues guiding me. My mind wanders back to the poster I saw in his room. I'm hoping that I'm just overthinking this. The poster being there is just an unfortunate coincidence. However, my thoughts are cut off when Moon suddenly turns and sits next to the, next to the generator. Your turn, Sirewolf. Oh my gosh, he's just distancing himself. Like, can you just tell me, man? Tell me, mate. I knew that was a bad choice, but can you please tell me anything, mate? Literally, come on. I nod, shuffling over and flipping the switch. Lighting to whatever motors and mechanisms are inside and inside the power on as a, as the lens uh, lens light uh, flicks to green. Four four down, one to go. Oh yes, I was right. There's five of them. I thought that was already the fifth one, but I guess there's just <clears throat> I guess I was just the four, fourth one. I turn off off the generator as Moon makes a head start uh, start back to, back out, and I scramble to follow him. Moon stays it uh, stays up uh, up straight, letting out uh, what uh, what sounds like a sigh as he stretches his arms above above his head. For a moment, I re <clears throat> I reminded how tall he and Sun actually are, just as he goes right back to his usual str his strange. Oh my gosh! Yes, 
I think they're probably six feet in length, probably, or seven or six point seven feet, maybe. I think if they are, then man, they're tall, probably. But still, I just feel so bad. I mean, why can't he tell me as to what the heck the heck is going on? Like, really? Moon is just me and looking and tells his head slightly. What? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi again. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Ask why he's that tall. Uh, compliment his height? Yes, I got a moon. Yes. Christ, you're tall. Moon looks at me, confused. Like if I just asked if the sky is orange. That's it? Well, yeah, didn't really think think about it until now. I'm, but my god, you're built like a whole giraffe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Moon snickers at the kind of my comet, um, leaning back against the structure behind us. Oh my gosh, you at least find it funny, so that's good. Should I take that as a compliment? Uh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I... I, uh, I, 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 uh... I don't know, man. I don't know, what do I say? Flirt? Or... Panonic? Or anything? Let's try this. Flirt. Yes! I knew that was a good choice right there. Yes. Moon crosses his arms, looking down at me while he waits for my response. Sir Wolf. Oh. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Why is he looking at me like that? Uh, looking at you at what? Like that, huh? This is very awkward for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I gave him an awkward thumbs up as if I didn't just forget how how the ling how the English language works. M moon and moon just shakes his head as he starts walking back to the desk. Cute. Oh, cute. Oh, sure. Yes, of course it is. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm sure. Jesus Christ. Am I really flirting with a robot right now? Yes. And it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's it's supposed to be a beautiful sight right now. Maybe it's about time I do some serious inter intersection. Or I pretend that's entirely normal in the hopes that it didn't happen again. Or will it? My god, sir. Well, no. Focus. I quickly snap myself out of whatever I was, I was experiencing. Of course, I fold him down, stopping at the computer. Last thing. Last one, Sarulf. I know. Last one. It feels kind of weird knowing it's almost over. Earlier, it felt like I was making no progress. And now I'm about, I'm about, I'm about ready to leave for the night. Alright. Oh! Now we got through this, alright. Gee, I don't even know as to what happened earlier, but I just had to restart this whole thing. And ooh! That soundtrack, though. I mean... Seriously, I can't believe that I didn't even notice that there was no sound. Like, oh my god, I feel so embarrassed about this. I'm so sorry, people. I I didn't really know that this actually had music in there. Yeah, I'm a terrible person for not thinking that way. So I'm sorry for basically not knowing that there's music in this game. So I'm sorry. Please forgive me, people. Alright, so do that and do this. Awesome, did it! Before I can even move... Sun picks me up and places me on my two feet himself. Looking up, I could see him smiling down at me, his hands on my shoulders. Hey, son. Hello. So, what do you think about my little the the de de descend uh, descended mechanic idea? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It's a great idea, but until then, please stop with whenever you can, okay? Sun's expression brightens, his ray reflecting, reflecting, and expanding in what it, what I think is safe and to describe as joy. We both we both stand in silence for a moment, and I glance back at the at the <laughs> at the computer. All I have left is to turn and turn the lights off, test the last generator, and then I'm home free. I think Sun notices my gaze as he lets uh, lets go of my shoulders and lightly nudges me to the computer. Go on, Zarulf. I'm sure you want to go home, right? I shrugged. Would be nice to go and pass out a few hours. What about you, though? Well, I won't be leaving anytime soon. I still have plenty to, plenty to do to prepare for tomorrow when we reopen. That makes sense. I decided to quit stalling and turn off the lights for the last time, sun standing behind me as I do so. As usual, the daycare was cluttered in the drilling ambience. Small question. Hmm? 
Would you mind if we walk you out of here? Just in case that person is still around here. Oh, he wants to actually help us? Oh, sure you can! Just make sure that Vanny doesn't come back, maybe. As I followed him, I gate I... <clears throat> jeez. I get flashbacks of just a few hours ago. Yeah, I appreciate that, thanks. It's the least we could do. The last generator is at the, is at the ground level, but it doesn't take long for us to, f to find it. I still have to tell Vanessa about that whole thing later, too. That's true. Whenever I come back here, I'll keep you and Sun updated. Scooting over to the generator, I flip the switch. To my absolute surprise, it works! After switching it off, Moon and I exit the, exit the structure in silence. So, this is it, huh? Moon nods and he walks back to the attack to the desk. I followed. I looked at the computer screen before glancing back at Moon. Yep, this is it. But what's going to happen now? Are we really going to home? Are we going to go home? Can we have a kiss first? I mean, come on, man! Don't leave me hanging like this. Come on! <sighs> I'll be seeing you soon then. Hopefully. Hey, even if I'm not going to be working in here anytime soon, I can always just visit as a guest, you know? Huh? I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Right as I'm about to turn the lights on, Moon hugs me from behind, arms wrapped around my shoulders. I don't necessarily mind, though, when I place my, my free hand on one of my, one of my ar one of his arms as I turn the lights on. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. Like, oh my gosh, he's really just so caring, isn't he? The daycare is lit up again, and I watch it to watch this moon transform into the sun. He doesn't say anything for a moment, before backing in and backing out from a hug. So, ready to head out? I guess. This would be my first time out of the daycare, who is, which is exciting. Yep. I picked up my stuff. So last I last checked it, checked in, head for the head, gosh, head for the door. Sun goes ahead, probably to move some of the some of the make it make it stiff the stiff barricade out of the out of, oh gosh <clears throat> out of the way. <gasps> his alarm starts it stops him in his tracks. Oh, he extends worried and worried looks. What, 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 who's there? Who's there? Sun runs up to me, picking me up while the cable lowers and hooks onto his back. Wasting the wasting no time, he brings me up to the, to his and Moon's his sh shared room, almost messing up the up the, the the landing before placing me on the ground and hopefully out of harm's way. Stay here. We'll be back. Oh crap! What? Well, who's there? Who's out there? Is it Vanny? Why is Vanny in here? Come on, Vanny, get out of the way. Leave me alone. Gosh, I can't get another word in before before Sun leaves. The nighttime sequence activated in the rest of the Pixaplex as I watched him transform back into Moon from the distance. Noticing the one door that leads out of the room, I blocked it with it with the bean bag chair and a few other things in it just in case. However, as I'm doing that, I remember the hole in the wall I spotted earlier. A hiding place. For forcing myself through the, the through the small gap, I dropped the drop to the floor to the other side as a sack of, a sack of potatoes. With a with a face full of dust, I pushed myself myself back up. I use all the use all the boxes I can find to cover up the hole and stop any light from leaking. All I can do is wait now, trying to calm myself down until moon uh, sun or moon returns. The occasional sound effects of the arcade machine in the corner catch my attention. The potential the potential distraction. The game isn't too uh, too long. But I'm still wary about it potentially giving me away. Until I remember the electrical tape I also brought with me. I decided to cover up the secret of speakers with it and at least give, it, give the game a try. Now that I actually have my wallet with me. After brushing and brushing the dust and dirt, and dust, dirt off them from my clothes, I insert the quarter into, and then into the machine before the game starts for what is most likely the first time in the decade or so. Oh, so I guess I'm playing a game already. Wait, what, what, why am I playing a game as we're, as our buddies are right now just distracted trying to do some stuff? Like, what the fridge? The game itself isn't bad. 
very reminded me of the Flappy Bird of Verb, but way more and more forgiving. The little sun and the sun and moon in the corner of the corn of the screen currently helps to lift my my mood a bit. I'm able to make make some progress as I kept my surroundings in mind, making sure I listen to every anything uh, suspiciously. <clears throat> Before nothing of the sorts happened, as I continue with the game. Oh, later some random burkle the uh, burkler decided to try their luck or something. Wouldn't be the weirdest thing to happen at by the by a long shot. I smiled slightly at the at the mental image of the poorly masted burglar the burglar coming face to face with Moon and freaking out. However, my train of thought was cut off when I noticed something. What? Out of order. A weird purple box towards the bottom of the screen. Wondering if it's some kind of glitch item. I let Balloon Boy fall towards the bottom of the screen and try to pick it up. <gasps> what the fudge? Wait, what the fridge is this? Hello? Hello? However, when I met with this Balloon Boy phasing through the obstacle, the obstacles, as the visuals are coated with the fury orange an orange color, the sun in the corner taking a weird dark appearance. The screen freezes and is in this visuals change as distorted music continues to play. Pressing the buttons and moving the joystick does nothing. Crap, I broke it. Is this what I get for touching a weird glitchy box in the in the game that hasn't been uh, been touched since the Stone Ages? Probably. Groaning in annoyance, I step away from the machine, uh, de uh, debating on whatever I should uh, take a uh, take a nap on the dusty, unclean floor until either sun or moon come back, or morning comes to the, the comes and the, the comes to Vanessa lecturing me again. Wait, don't leave yet. I jump the whole little two feet uh, feet in the air, placing a hand over my rapidly beating heart as I back further away from the machine. Still stuck in the broken visual. There's nothing to be scared of. I assure you. What? Is the game talking to me? Wait, it's talking to you? Wait, what the fridge? Yeah, the wait, the, the, the thing changed too. Like, what? Still shocked. I suppose that's fair. What the hell are you? Give me so Give me just a moment. As if this couldn't get any weirder, a hand starts reaching out of the, out of the, 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 the game appearing glitchy and broken like uh, like the game itself. Panicked, I grab the nearest item, a chica blush, and chuck it uh, chuck it at the screen. The plushy faces through the through the hand and it dis uh, dis 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 dissipates anyway. Oh, so it basically came out of existence as, as the thing touched it. Wait, what? What's going on? Wait, what's what, what, did I just activate something? Actually, now that I think about it, the hand looks a lot like Sun and Moon's is, except it is a dark brown and red color. What? Alright. That was just rude. Answer the question! What the fridge? Who is this person? What, what the fridge? The voice sighs, and I see something pop out onto the screen. Oh! Whoa! Hello! What's up? Who are you? A familiar looking celestial robot. Cloated in dark, warm colors and sprouting four arms with bells and ribbons tied to its wrist. See? It's a face very similar to the messed up sun visual. Even if I were to scratch and claw the claw and search, there is no words for me to find. Though I am considering crawling back through the hole and pretending I never saw this. Come on now, Sarwolf. Am I really that frightening? The hell? How? Heard Moon mentioned it earlier. Am I talking to a sentiment glitch right now? Yeah, I guess. I mean, what's going on? Did I activate something? What the, what the, what is this? What is, why am I talking to a glitch? What the fridge? I thought nothing could top near to nearly being killed by a rabbit with a knife or how wrong I was. You may call me. Eclipse. Oh, it's Eclipse. What the fridge? Oh, just like in the ruins. What the fridge? What is Eclipse doing here? Oh, how creative. You're not going to possess me or something, are you? 
Not unless you ask. Besides, you're too far. What? Okay, thanks for the advice. Have a nice life. I picked up myself about to turn and head ahead out before this gets any weirder. Wait. Allow me one more question, please. Hell no. I'm not buying whatever you're trying to sell me. Look. Starwolf. At least let me speak. If you really wish to out-out, you can leave at this room and forget you ever saw me. All I ask is a bit of help. What if... what? Well... Eclipse starts to stick one of his forearms out the screen. However, it only lasts a few seconds before this patterning, separating into the glitch like a leg of the particles and fading away. As you can see, I'm bound to this machine. Without a physical body to move around with, I'm instantly trapped in this room until a higher ups instantly decides to bulldoze it and replace it with a warehouse. All I ask for is to finding another body as I could find leave <clears throat> so I can finally leave this cursed room as long as it can move around move around. I don't care what it is. However, I do have some preferences. Such as is it that is it not obvious? With, the, with all four arms, Eclipse gestures to himself. If possible, I like to coexist with your new friend. What? New friend? Sun and Moon? Yes. They already managed to share a body with one another. I'd like to think there's room for one more. Oh no. Oh no. What do we do, man? I don't know. I don't really want to do that to my, my boys like that. I mean, I can tell he's a little bit evil. I can tell he's evil and stuff here. Uh, shoot, man, oh no. Well, I don't know. When, what happens if we say yes? Uh, we'll try to say yes and then we'll go with no first. So we'll go with no next. I mean, I don't know. Gosh, oh gosh. I, I can try. Is this a good idea? I'm not sure myself, but even if it doesn't work out, I can just walk away from it. It's not like Eclipse can really stop me. I can try? I don't know. I could ask them about it, but that's it. I prefer it if you brought them I brought them here, honestly. I believe I'd be more convincing face to face. Something about that sentence feels anonymous. Look, I don't know. I already have have to leave soon. I don't know if I'll come back. If it makes things easier, you could just bring me to them. Who cares? Maybe if you start getting to know me at that time, sun and, and moon may not even be needed. I certainly wouldn't mind sharing a physical form with you. Oh, okay, slow down. Just as a suggestion. In the end, the choice is truly yours. So I recommend you use it wisely, Sarkov. Oh, jeez. Oh my, wait, what? We can do this... Wait, oh my gosh, wait. Bring Eclipse to them uh, them yourself? Oh my, um... You know what? I'm gonna try this flirt. I sigh, mentally beating myself up to the situation. I mean, I want to... I don't want to do that to my boy, so I'm gonna do it to myself, man. You know, take me instead, bro. Is this probably the dumbest decision I could that I could make? Most likely. Does it at least sound, like, interesting? I beat lying if I say no. Mentally preparing myself, I walk back to the arcade machine, standing directly in front of it. Come on, let's get this over with. Eclipse's grin widens, almost to a sinister degree. Oh, how kind of you. Oh, Eclipse's face is suddenly faces through the screen, and I her back, tripping on air through the, through the shock and falling back. Eclipse wastes no time, pulling itself on and out of the machine with all four arms and smiling at me. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at him. He's all creepy and stuff. You seem to find me so intimidating. Yet you still don't run. How priceless. I do believe we'll enjoy our time together, Sarov. Oh my gosh. Hidden end? Wait, I just got a hidden ending? What in the world? Oh my gosh! 
Oh dear, this is certainly interesting. Thanks for playing. Oh wait, so that's it? Wait, what did I do? How did I equip a secret ending? I didn't actually think I was going to actually get a secret ending. Well, that was truly something right there. I did not expect that at all. No, no, I did not expect it at all. All right, so I'm back. I'm sorry for having to cut away for just a minute in this video. I have experienced some technical difficulties during the recording segment, and I didn't even know that, so apparently I didn't record the last part of the video, and now I have to redo it. But I had to start uh, tomorrow morning because, well, yeah, I was pretty tired while in the last recording, so I decided to uh, wait until tomorrow morning, and I decided to do this again, so. So sorry about the inconvenience there, and I just had to wait by the- I just had to wait until tomorrow because I was trying to get some sleep, and now I'm here, and I want to finish this as good as possible. Okay, so, um, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to play through the game again just until i make it over to the ending part now what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to cut through some recording and stuff and uh i'm going to only play some of the clips that you haven't seen before while doing this so uh yeah i will be right back and uh yeah <laughs> all right so i had to play through this whole game again so I guess what happened while doing the uh, the, the doing the, the the gameplay. Um, remember when I said that I got the hidden ending instead of really getting any kind of ending that I was hoping to get. Well, so I think it has to do with something probably in this segment alone. All right. So instead of going to the small room, we are going to uh, ask about the drawings. So hey, Sonny. Do you, uh, do you want it to explain as to what these, what these drawings are supposed to be? What's this? I point to the corner filled with drawings. Sun beams when he looks at it. Ah, oh, those are all gifts from the kids. Mooney and I have been keeping each and every one of them. Sun's his head tilt, he, his fingers lightly tapping on the hard floor, <clears throat> the hard war wood floor, as he goes on about all the drawings and things the kids made specifically for him and Moon. Oh, by the way, guys, I just, I forgot to tell you that I actually played the whole game in Bloody Mute. So, if you haven't even heard it or heard the music or any sound effects in this game, well, it turns out that there is some strange errors going around when when opening up the bloody game like for some reason when you open up the game uh the music sounds and everything just shuts off and everything is always in mute so that's kind of the reason why you didn't hear any sounds in this game so i'm terribly sorry about that i just wanted to point that out if anyone want asks me that got any favorites my eyes are darted my eyes are directed towards the little felt that felt plushy of sun the fact that it's handmade is ev and evident, with buttons for eyes and dried white glue all over the stems. I can't pick a favorite! I love all of them! I sniffled it as I sniffled a laugh. That's sweet. Son, the son laughs nervously, but before he could say anything, the fairy, uh, the fairy lights give a brief flicker before dying out. Oh no no don't don't die out what the heck oh come on oh and that basically <laughs> turns him back well that's unfortunate I just watch as he tr I just watch as he transforms into Moon who seems surprised oh those ugh those cheap lights probably burned out ah I can't say I'm surprised. Don't tell anyone I said this, but the people in charge of this place are known to uh, to smudge. Nah, I'm not arguing with you. All right, so I'm assuming that everything and everything is the same right there. So we could just skip through all that because we already read all this stuff in our other playthrough. So, uh, yeah, of course. Okay, so um, oh jeez. For all this one right there, since we don't really need to read all this, all, all, all the lines that we've already did again, and it's nice, really. Oh, and yep. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually a sound effect whenever you see an icon right there, like bop bop. 
I kind of like that. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, so, yes. And after all, skipping through all the dialogue right there, we could get to see a th this this nice drawing once again. It's so cute, like, seriously. Oh yeah, there's also this music soundtrack right there, if you go to this section. This is actually kind of a catchy, catchy tune right there. I do like it, like, oh my gosh, the level, uh, the level of effort in the music is really nice. I don't know why this game has trouble loading in the music and all that in there. It's kind of annoying, to be fairly honest with you. So, we've already asked him about Moon, but let's try to lift his mood to see what happens. Oh, and that basically lift off his own, own mood right there, so that's good. So, that was the right choice, okay. So, depending on what you choose, you gotta pick, gotta pick the right choices, like I said. But, some of them can be optional, and some of them can depend on your affection into this game. So, I'm assuming that hopefully I can get much of the, much of the right choices I, as I can and see what happens. Hmm. Well, you clearly don't like the idea of being separated like that. Mmm, Sun Knight nods. But hey, imagine if it said, Moon just had his own body. Oh, wait, Sorrow, you got an idea or something? You want, uh, you want them to split? <gasps> They're split into two? Like, what do you mean? What? You know, you both get your own bodies and you don't do the thing where you switch when the lights are turned off and on, you know? I shrugged. Sun seems to be in deep thought. Oh, he's in deep thought? What's he gonna think about this? If that happened, I could hear the gears turning. Literally. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! I could finally hug him! Oh, he seems to like that idea, does he? Oh my gosh, he likes the idea. Of course, I knew that was a good idea. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yep, it's good. Okay. I jumped slightly, not expecting Sun to shout like that. Pfft. Well, someone has his uh, priorities set. Yeah, indeed, of course. But, yeah, there's food for thought. For thought. <laughs> we can't eat, though. Really? Yeah, so why would we? I mean, I don't know, logic in the fandom? I'm not sure, really. Like, you just use hands as eating or something there, son? I mean, because your face is flat, so that's why you can't eat. Just, I heard stories about one of the glam, the glam rocks eating trash. I thought maybe... What? Nothing, nothing. Oh, I think it's talking about Chica. Yes, and remember the game that Chica is the one who likes to eat trash? I don't know why the game basically made Glamrock Chica be addicted to eating trash. That's, that's always a concern for me. I'm not sure why, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this part right there. Yeah, this is when he gets a little bit angry at us because we cussed. And then we will ask him, we will say that's cute. And he seems to, uh, be a little sooner there about this nonsense. <laughs> because cussing is a no-no word. He's just... <laughs> He's just, he's just so angry when we're teasing him, like, poor little boss. You ready? Moon nods, already walking ahead. Small question. Hmm? Would you mind if we walk you out of there? Just in case that person's still around somewhere. Aw, yep. I still love it when he, when he offers to follow us. And that's really sweet, because they want to protect me from freaking Vanny. That's what they are, Moon and Sun protectors. I love it. It's the least we could do. The last area is at the at the ground at the ground level, so it doesn't take long for us to find it. I still have to tell and tell Vanessa about that whole thing later too. That's true. Whenever I come to come back here, I'll keep you and Sun updated. Scooting over to the generator, I flip the switch, and to my absolute surprise, it worked. Oh, that's good. So, yep, it works. We already know that the last one worked easily. After switching it off, Moon and I exit the, exit the structure in silence. So, this is it then. This is it, huh? Uh, I can't speak. Okay, so this is the last part. So let's see what happens after going through some changes. Wonder what's gonna happen. Oh boy, I'm excited. Moon nods as he walks back to the desk. I follow. I looked at the computer screen before glancing back at Moon. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> oh! We have a we have a new a new thing. We can actually choose. What do we do? Do we say goodbye, or do we hug him? Oh man, you know what I'm gonna do. 
I'm going to hug the boy. Hug him goodbye. I'm not going to say goodbye in words. I'm going to say it with an embrace. Duh, of course. Ignoring the computer for now, I wrap my arms around Moon's his torso in a tight hug. <laughs> and yep, he's surprised. Be surprised, boy. Yes, you are. He freezes for a moment, most likely not expecting it. He eventually hugs me back, though, gently placing his hands on my back. We stayed like that for a minute. I potentially, I'm potentially leading on him, and I feel his hands lightly gripping the back of my shirt. Oh, this is just so cute, oh my gosh, I just can't help the cuteness overlord in this. I do let go eventually, though, smiling up at Moon as I'm about to turn the lights on. Moon smiles back, his arms crossed. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this art! This is so beautiful! I love that little scenery of Moon right there. And I can almost see that he's blushing too. That's adorable. Seriously, the art is top notch. Whoever created the art is fantastic at it. My hand on the computer mouse. I glance back at Moon for the last time tonight. See ya, Moon. Moon smiles slightly. His head tilted a bit. Goodbye, Sarah Wolf. Oh. No, don't go. No. Why did he have to leave so soon? I did not want him to leave like this. Poor guy. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Well, at least we had a nice proper goodbye. That's all that matters. The daycare is lit up again, and I watch this moon transform to the sun. Not a word leaves his mouth. So, ready to head out? He shrugged, fidgeting with his with his hands. I guess. This would be my first time out of the daycare, which is exciting. Yep. Yes, because it's his first time leaving as Sun, because he has never left in the daycare before, besides being Moon and stuff. I go to pick up my stuff, and make sure I'm not forgetting anything as I walk to the door next to the desk. Sun goes ahead and moves some of the, some of the makeshift, uh, ba <clears throat> the makeshift barricade area. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you gotta move the stuff first before leaving, like you just passed through before. <laughs> I gesture for him I gesture for him to follow me before I push the button on the wall, taking a few steps back while the, the, while the door opens. As we're heading our way to the nearby staff-only room, I glance back at Moon. I glance back at Sun, who seems almost mesmerized of our surroundings. I don't blame him. He's never been able to see the rest of the pizza plex through his own eyes until now. The sap only room is pretty mundane, but Sun is lining up at every detail. He seems to snap out of it once we reach the exit, though. His eyes are back at the door, and he's back to visiting in his arm, in his hands. Oh no, he seems so sad. And then we have our last options to do. Either hug him or say goodbye. Last hug. Yes, we're gonna do this. We're doing a hug. We're doing a hug. No one can stop me right now. Dropping myself on the floor, I charge Dad at Sun with a hug, making him stumble back a bit. He seems almost stunned for a moment before picking me up and squeezing me back, laughing. I lightly kick my feet to the feet back and forth in the air, just savoring the moment before I have to leave. <laughs> this is just so adorable. He loves it. I know you will love it. You love it. He's just he's just so happy. Seriously, we gotta make the boy happy, people. Just like it just like in in the DLC ruined, of course. Uh Sun steps uh, steps ahead of me to put it to hold the door open. Nearly empty parking lot waiting outside. Thanks, Sun. No problem. <laughs> and yep, and here we are, we're outside. This is outside, our place. Yep, and this is where we gotta leave the freaking pizza plex. And leaving sun and moon behind. <laughs> this is so sad already. After taking a few steps outside, I look back at him, waving my free hand. Ah, and there's the last art of him waving goodbye. That's adorable. He waves back, energetic as ever. Goodbye, Zarwolf. Bye. <laughs> I continue my my walk to my car, hearing the door close behind me and the faint sound of bells slowly fade away. I get to my car without any problems, placing my belongings on the passenger seats before starting the engine. I can feel a small headache coming on and on as I backed out of my spot, but I'm sure it's nothing some sleep would help would fix. As I'm leaving, though I notice something in my 
Rare view mirror. Uh oh. What do you mean? Or at least I thought I do. When I looked, no. When I looked though, there was nothing unusual. Maybe I'm overreacting this. I decided I wanted to get home before I pass out from behind the wheel. So I keep my eyes on the road, leaving the peak duplex behind me for the night. Ah, and that was it, people. A beautiful ending to end up with a very sweet, simple, adorable fan game right there. So yes, guys, I was just playing After Hours, and this was really good than I actually intended this to be. It was a very sweet game, too, about you hanging out with Sun and Moon together, and it was fairly adorable. I do like the art style in this, and I think that the story is very simple, but very nicely done, and also heartfelt, too. And I really enjoyed the time and the pacing in this, and it's really good, so I gotta give props to, to the creator who actually made this game. So, I'm afraid that will be it for today, everybody, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you go subscribe to my channel, give me all likes, subscribe, so everything, always very awesome me, and hopefully looking forward for new videos in the future. So, I will be going now, and bye guys! Yeah, bye!